Thanks for your interest in Crystalline by Pure Illusion. So what about particle size? What is a HEPA filter anyway? Well, HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air Filter. A HEPA filter removes at least 99.97% of airborne particles with a size of 0.3 microns. 0.3 microns is the most penetrating particle size, meaning the size of particle most able to penetrate a HEPA filter. Particles larger than 0.3 microns are trapped at an even higher efficiency rate, and particles smaller than 0.3 microns are trapped at a higher efficiency rate, meaning the 0.3 micron particle is the particle which is most able to make it through a HEPA filter. How is that possible though? It seems counterintuitive. Well, to understand, we need to look at filtration principles. Starting with sieving. Sieving is very much like when we were young on the beach and we would put sand in a sieve and we'd shake it and watch the sand fall through. And we'd see all the larger objects on top of the sieve when we were done. That's kind of what we would think of as being a filter. But this is not what we do in HEPA filtration because the size of the particles would require the media fibers to be so close together that it would be very restrictive on the airflow. Rather, we use inertial impact, interception, and diffusion principles. What are these principles? Well, inertial impact occurs when a particle is of sufficient size that it is able to break through the airflow that's carrying it around a media fiber and impact the media fiber itself. So an inertial impact of a particle occurs when that particle is able to carry the inertia to impact the media fiber even though the air is flowing around the media fiber. Interception of a particle occurs on smaller particles, particles that are able to be carried by the airflow floating around the media fibers. When a particle is small enough to be carried by the airflow, but large enough to be intercepted between the edge of the airflow and the media fiber itself, the particle becomes trapped by the interception filtration principle. When we begin to look at particles smaller than this, we're talking about the diffusion principle. When a particle is very small, 0.1 microns, 0.01 microns, 0.003 microns. They begin to act in a very counterintuitive way. They become erratic. They're able to jut here and there, bouncing off of molecules in the air. The smaller the particle gets, the greater the freedom of motion that particle exhibits. And with the greater freedom of motion, the more likelihood it is to encounter a media fiber in the HEPA filter. Thus, for the diffusion principle, as the particles get smaller and smaller, the efficiency of the filtration gets larger and larger. We could see that in this graph. You could see that a particle of diameter 10 microns is not very efficient to be filtered by a HEPA filter using the diffusion principle. But if you were to look at the interception principle or the inertia principle of impact, you can see that 10 micron particle is certainly filtered out. So we have these three principles and they intersect at this valley, this Goldilocks zone of 0.3 microns, where we perform our empirical validation based on the European standard EN 1822. It's the first classification system that was developed in 1998 for HEPA filters. It grades HEPA filters. So on the side of HEPA filter, you might see H12 or H13. The larger the number, the greater the efficiency of capture at 0.3 microns, the most penetrating particle size. Crystalline is validated by a TSI 8130. We perform an empirical validation using the TSI 8130 to provide you with an assurance of the most penetrating particle size captured at an efficiency rate of greater than or equal to 99.97% at 0.3 microns with a resistance less than or equal to 30 pascals on a filter weight 
of 90 grams per square meter. The crystalline pre-filter is equally impressive. For a pre-filter to capture an efficiency rating greater than or equal to 90% at 0.3 microns, with a resistance less than or equal to 13 pascals, on a filter weight of 22 grams per square meter, is truly impressive. While we hope that this has been informative, it's always important to understand the products that you're purchasing. If you have any other questions, reach out to us anytime. You could find us on Amazon and in our podcasts. Thank you.